Dobry den. Hello everybody, my name's Dennis. Welcome to New Local Tools. And today on the channel, we're taking a deep dive and figuring out what's actually the difference between a PZ bit and a PH bit. So let's have a look, shall we? So first off, if you're a working professional and you've been a carpenter or a fixer or in the construction industry for the past 10 years, you probably do know the difference between these. But on the flip side, if you're a home DIYer or a person just starting out in the industry, this might be really cool for you. So stick around, you might learn something, or if you already know this, just watch it. It's a good time watching a video, take a seat back, relax, you'll be fine. Despite that the systems look quite similar, they are not interchangeable. This means that if you use one on the other, you are very likely to either break your screwdriver or break your screw. At this point, you might have to go to other means of getting a screw or a fastener out of a wall or a piece of wood or whatever material you're working on. And these methods are usually not as easy and fun as just getting the correct screwdriver or bit in the first place. So having a look at them, you'll see that the posty drive has little crosses in between the main cross. If you look at the footage here, you'll see that there's eight tags in total, whereas on the PH, there's only four. If you put a Phillips bit into a posty screw, it's very, very likely that you'll damage that screw to a point where you can't get any traction in it, and therefore your screwdriver will have no leverage in getting the screw out. The posty drive has a self-centering design as opposed to the Phillips that might slip out of the screw. This design is made to improve connection between the bit and the fastener. So if you view them from the side, they're unmistakable. You'll see the difference quite clearly. The difference is that the posty drive will literally have those extra crosses just to make sure that you get more torque on the screw. Earlier in this video, I said that the two systems are not interchangeable. That's true. However, a Phillips bit will fit inside of a posty screw, but before you get the torque needed or you can get the fastener properly fastened, your screwdriver will most likely slip out and the screw will be damaged. So for the numbers on these things, you have a PH1, a PH2, PH3, and the same with the posy. you have the one, two, three of the PZ as well. These numbers purely refer to the thickness of the actual bit. This is something that you can eye measure and just eyeball, and usually you'll figure out which one you need to use when you're there. You can kind of just eyeball it and figure it out. So that was it for this short video. If you want to come and visit our shop here in Stratford, you can find a full link in the description box below, along with all of our other associated links. And I hope to see you around soon.